Greetings! My name is Grace. Welcome to Songs of Deliverance. In this series, we're going to grab on to the freedom that we have in Christ. And we're going to do it through scripture and song. So before we get started with today's scripture, I want to share with you something that Jesus taught, all right? So this is in John uh, chapter 8. So this is what Jesus taught to those who are believing in him. He says, if you continue in my word, then you are truly disciples of mine, and you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. So that's an incredible promise. Freedom. How do we get freedom? Well, it's simple, right? If we continue in his words, we're his disciples, right? And we will know the truth, and the truth will make us free. So we just need to start out in the word. And so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to be in Judges chapter 6. We're just going to explore a couple of verses. So the context for this story is that uh, Israel was worshiping other gods, false gods. And God um, had told them not to do that, and there would be consequences with that. So they were experiencing those consequences, um, which were in the form of a group of people called Midian. And so Midian was uh, really doing harmful things to Israel. So Israel cries out to God, and God hears them in his mercy, and God visits them. So that's where we kind of pick up in verse 11 of chapter 6 of Judges. Then the angel of the Lord came and sat under the oak that was in Ophrah, which belonged to Joash the Abizarite, as his son Gideon was bearing out wheat. Sorry, he was beating out wheat in the wine press in order to save it from Midianites. You can see this picture of this guy with wheat in the wine press, right? That's not how it should be. Anyway, so the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him, The Lord is with you, O valiant warrior. Then Gideon said to him, O oh my Lord, if the Lord is with us, why then has this happened to us? And where are all his miracles, which our fathers told us about, saying, did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord has abandoned us and given us into the hand of Midian. The Lord looked at him and said, Go in this your strength and deliver Israel out of the hand of Midian. Have I not sent you? He said to him, Oh, Lord, how shall I deliver Israel? Behold, my family is the least in Manasseh, and I'm the youngest of, in my father's house. But the Lord said to him, Surely I will be with you, and you shall, hold up, defeat Midian as one man. So in this story, we have a lot going on, but there are a couple great things that we see. One, God shows up in his mercy when we call on him. That's something that's true and will always be true. Secondly, the Lord is calling Gideon and, and he's saying, you're a mighty warrior. And Gideon is full of excuses. Um, he's like, I'm from like one of the one of the tribes that's like from one of Jacob's youngest son, and my family's the least in this tribe, and I'm the youngest in my family. Who am I, God? And God is, says, I've already named you. You're a valiant warrior. Go in the strength that you have um, to fight Midian because I've sent you. So no matter what, so the second point is, right, no matter what excuses we come up with, what God says is true. Who he said that we are is true of us. You getting the picture? All right. All right. <laughs> So, kind of the last thing that I want to pull out of this um, is that it is God. When God calls us to do something, it is God who accomplishes that. So whether it is that he's calling us to follow his son, right? If he's calling us to be his disciples. He gives us the Holy Spirit that allows, that enables us to accomplish that. In this situation where he's calling Gideon um, to go in his strength, to go uh, fight Midian and defeat them. It is God who's going with them. He says, have I not sent you, right? And he, he says, surely I will be with you and you will defeat Midian. So when God is calling us to do something, he will accomplish that. Think of 
the things that God has been telling you to do. Um, a couple of things come to my mind when I say that. He will accomplish it. So go out, step out in faith, and be obedient to God. Isn't that a great passage? Okay. So now it's time for the song. It's called Megaphone. Um, and it's really about just what we were just talking about. Stepping out in faith. Being that prophetic voice in your generation. Um, in our generation for the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus provides. See you in the next video.